Our grandfather was drafted into the army. Um, he served in Germany and guarded the Berlin Wall. And then he chose to be a police officer after his time in the army. My uncle chose to be a police officer and is now in the DEA. And my cousin Nicholas graduated college and then chose to join the army. It's always been important for us to choose service. So all of us Juvenile Cousins are, are pretty close in age. We were born pretty back to back, so it was really cool growing up. It was like having a bunch of siblings. In the summers, I would go to their house down in Springfield, Illinois, and hang out with them for a couple weeks. My memories with them start as early as I can remember. You know, playing driveway basketball, backyard football, soccer. Giovanelli got a block on the corner. Touchdown! My oldest cousin Tony's first year at the academy was in 2011. And since that year, Army-Navy has been like a holiday in our family. Uh, every year, we gather at someone's house to watch the game. Off to the left, Giovanelli. Looks like he got it up for the first down. When I had first told my cousins that I got offered by Navy, as you can imagine, um, they, weren't, they weren't too thrilled about that. Uh, they really wanted the answer to be Army. And as soon as I started getting recruited by Army, uh, it just felt right. I went on my visit, something specifically that really spoke to me on my visit, and that was in the walkway um, from the Kimsey Center to Crystal Arena. There's a bunch of historical military memorabilia and things like that. And in that walkway is the Berlin Wall, a piece of the Berlin Wall. And that's actually the wall that my grandpa guarded uh, when he was in the Army. And to me, uh, that really spoke to me and our family's history in the Army and just the legacy that I really wanted to continue here at West Point. Every year since then, you know, we've had some sort of personal tie to that game. So when I came to the academy, playing in the first Army-Navy game in 2019, the holiday shifted sort of from the football game to the basketball game. I was very nervous the first time I played Navy. We had two regiments in the stands, so over 2,000 cadets were there. It was a sold out crowd. The game came down to the last play. Uh, Navy had two shots for the win. The ball didn't go their way, so the game went in our favor. I was able to grab the game winning rebound and I, I grabbed the ball and I ran down to our bench and it was one of the greatest moments of, of my basketball career. Tony was never able to, to beat Navy. Uh, he wasn't even able to play in his senior year Army-Navy. For us, that was really important to get that win and, and get back on the, on the winning side of the Army-Navy rivalry. My uncle, Tony Joey and Dominic's dad, texted me and said, now Tony can sing second with you. Being a leader at West Point is being a leader amongst leaders and for me it's a really cool experience to have so many knowledgeable people around me to guide me and help me out. Being what this team needs, being able to adapt to the individual needs. Lise is, is very intense, she was passionate and didn't shy away from telling me what she wanted in her next coach. And she told me, coach, do you want to build this program now or do you want to win right away? And I said, Lisa, I want to win. I'm a competitor. And she's a competitor. So it was a perfect match in that regard. I'm really able to rely on my teammates, my, my classmates, um, my mentors at the academy to guide me in the right direction when I may not have the answer um, and make sure that this is a leadership development process for all of us. I told them, this is your final season. There's no excuse why we can't max out every day and leave on empty. It's not settling for second best. It's always been important for us to choose service, to at least consider at one point in our lives to dedicate ourselves to our country and truly live duty on our country within our family. I had the opportunity to sit down for an Italian meal with Lisa's family. They're just very personable. They have a lot of love inside for Lise and they're, they're very proud of the woman that she's become. They have an understanding of Lise in terms of her drive and in terms of her dedication that most people don't get to see. I've been lucky enough to see it on a daily basis, and you know, I consider myself pretty fortunate. You know, I'm happy that our paths crossed. I know that Tony, as well as all my other cousins, just want me to be successful, and uh, they're really proud of me for continuing this legacy. Um, and even if you know, I've experienced things that they haven't, or vice versa, they truly want the best for me. Tony Giovanelli, class of 2015, Army Signal Corps.
Joey Giovanelli, class of 2016, Army Signal Corps. Dominic Giovanelli, class of 2019, Army Signal Corps. Elisa Fallon, class of 2022, Military Police.